Well, today we're going to try and do a little bit of gopher trapping, and I've got in my hands a, an Easy Set Victor 610, and it works pretty well. I'm going to show you how to go ahead and set it, and I'm going to show you how to place the trap as you set it. And below me, I've got my gopher mound, the one in question. So let me show you how to set this thing. We're going to go ahead and put it, and uh, we'll check it later on today and see if we've had any. All right, so here is your trap, and I've got my chain. I actually added that myself to make sure that the gopher doesn't pull it further than the hole or uh, perhaps something gets to the gopher that's been trapped before I get to it and tries to run off with the trap. So this is to keep my trap from running off. Uh, pretty simple trap. You've got the jaws right here and they are sharpened so don't throw your hands in there while this thing is set. You have your kick plate right here. This is what the animal is going to push up against to set off the trap. And uh, right here you have a double trip and this is two bars and they're going to swivel back and forth and that's what you're going to use to set this sucker. So let me go ahead and show you how I'm going to do this. I'm going to have the kick plate, as always, towards me, the jaws facing away. And what I'm going to do is take my thumbs and push down on this solid piece right here. And as I do that, the jaws should open up. And also what I'm going to have to do, okay, you're going to have to do a lot of things all at once, is to make sure that these two bars lift up and at the very end, this U gets underneath here. So it's got to go underneath here because this is what's going to keep your trap from setting off or springing off before you want it to. So let me go ahead and see if I can't show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to lift up the bars. I'm going to push down. As I push down, you can tell that the jaws are starting to open. As they open, I usually go ahead and put my thumbs here. And that might, again, seem like a kind of a foolish thing to do, but those jaws are offset. And what that means is I can use them as leverage. I'm not having to push down very hard with them. You want to at least keep one thumb over there. And if you can tell, got this right, that U-bracket is now underneath the main frame. And to keep these jaws open, all I need to do, uh, in practice rather, is to push down on these two bars, and that should if I've done everything right, keep the jaws from clamping shut. So as long as my thumb is there, bending down and putting pressure on these two tines, everything should be okay. Now this is an easy set, so all I've got to do is lift up my trip plate, and it's on a hinge, and what that's going to do is make sure that the trip plate itself holds the two bars down. And so what that means is that once I pl place this down in the trap, the animal should be coming through the tunnel, trying to either uh, come out of the tunnel or plug it up again. And in doing so, they're going to hit the trip plate, and this thing's going to shut down on their body. And the sharp tines could go through them, and the compression is also going to kind of crush them or even hold them there. So when you pull this out, nine times out of ten, you're going to have a dead gopher. Um, you might have one that's just simply trapped and you might have to finish them off. But you do want to check these things quite often. Uh, you don't want animals to get to them before you do. And since this is not a humane trap, you want to make sure that you don't have an animal there suffering longer than it needs to. So I've got this thing really, really sensitive. Okay, If you can see that, there's not much holding those two bars down. And you can change sensitivity by pushing the kick plate back further. As I hold this thing, I'm holding it back here. I don't want to have my hand around the active portion of the trap. Uh, my gopher mounds right here, you can see a bit of the crescent. I've got my probe. Uh, from doing this enough times, I'm pretty sure that that hole's gonna be right there. Yep, so had a bit of a drop, about four inches. I know that I can dig out, excavate right here. And what I'm doing, it's a bit of a shadow, trying to figure out exactly which direction that hole goes and it goes down in this way. I'm also going to widen it out just a little bit. Got a lot of clay in my soil so it holds form pretty well. I want to have enough room for these jaws to be able to shut down on it. Enough room for the kick plate to be able to push without it getting messed up. Uh, but really and surely you're, you're making it so that that gopher wants to come and investigate. Why is there air moving through my tunnels? Why is there sign light coming through here? And so what I'm going to do is open it up a little bit more. This 
simply set this on down there and again I'm making sure that I don't get my hands in there and usually what I'll do is because if I if I go and put a bunch of a uh, bunch of dirt back in there a lot of times things won't set off but just enough a little bit, little bit of sun come through a little bit of vegetation on top as always I'm gonna flag this sucker I'm also gonna stake it down and make sure that uh, that chain keeps my trap where I want it so we'll check this again in the evening check it again in the morning um, usually whenever I set these out I set out about half a dozen at a time all around usually here I have about one gopher one one mole every 100 200 yards so hopefully we'll have some luck and my fruit and nut trees will fare better this spring Seems a bit stuck in there because it was successful so there you go and this is on the Victor easy trap or easy set uh, worked quite well looks like it got him around the uh, around the head quick kill but that's how it works guys successful pretty neat as far as releasing this guy it should work out that I just again push down the jaw should open up and uh, there you go but look at that guy Long claws for digging. And you definitely want to go ahead and uh, wash your hands when you're done with this. 